WTIX 5 after 7. Good morning. Hello. You want to know what happened crazy yesterday? Tell me all about it. We sprung two patients from a hospital and took them to the Mardi Gras. That is great. <laughs> Now, do you have enough guts to tell me uh, what hospital and how did you do it? I can't tell you what hospital because you know what hit the sand last night when they got back. Okay, <laughs> then just tell me how you did it then. Well, they put on two hospital gowns, front <laughs> to back, and we dressed, my friend and I dressed up as a doctor and nurse, and yeah. they met us at the emergency room entrance. <laughs> That is really great. And they had their bands on the whole thing, and we just whipped. Well, let me ask you, were you scared d doing this? No. No. <laughs> oh, no. She asked her doctor for a leave, because she's just in there for tests, uh -huh. and the doctor said she couldn't have a leave. So she said, okay. So she calls me up, and she says, you want to spring me? I says, why not? So we did. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> well, a lot of people think about doing it. You know, but they're yeah. two chickens. So when she got back last night, the nurses jumped all over them. They called the doctor. The doctor jumped all over. They said, where have you been? She says, nowhere. She says, I'm just sitting out in the parking lot necking with a friend. <laughs> <laughs> they just were seven hours. And she says, he was terrific. <laughs> well, thank you for calling the morning show. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take from me. WTIX 718. Debbie's got traffic in about a minute. This is Tix. Good morning. Uh, yes. I'd like to report something that was kind of funny to me that happened on Mardi Gras. Okay. Um, I saw this man who was dressed just like Judy Garland, and he looked more like a woman than Judy Garland did herself. <laughs> and then a drunk walked up to her and started feeling on him and wanting to walk with him and wanting to go with him. And then when he saw he was a man because they got into a little fight and he ripped his dress and he saw he was a man, and they got in the fight and the police took him away. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling the morning show. Oh. 719 at uh, WTIX. Debbie's got that traffic update in uh, just about uh, a minute. And, uh, Katie, what's going on this morning? City police are holding an Algiers man, Bob. They've arrested him for sexually assaulting a 17-year-old girl three times. A flambeau carrier was hurt during Comus last night, and firefighters continue to fight an oil rig fire near Morgan City. Details in a minute on 6. WTIX 746. Good morning. Hi, this is Judy Sumlin, Queen of Araby Parade. How you doing? Did you have a good ride, Judy? Fantastic ride. The weather was gorgeous. The people all had fun. It was a beautiful day. It was quite an experience. I guess so. One thing I'm sure everyone would like to know is, how do you get to become king or queen of a parade? Well, it helps when you go out with the king. I guess that does. That's <laughs> all I know you know. That's getting straight to the point, Judy. He uh, belongs to the club. I was not a member until mm -hmm. this year. But uh, Melvin Gower, the king, he is a member of the crew. Was that uh, your first uh, parade that you have ever been in? That was the first parade I've ever ridden in, formally, yes. That's a real trip. It was really nice. From now on, I guess it's all going to be downhill, though. <laughs> well, maybe next year I'll ride with you on the float. Fantastic. We're all supposed to return. Uh, they have plans that they're making for us to return next year on a double float. Mm -hmm. It's return king and queen behind the new king and queen. So I hope that pans out well. I rode uh, in Endymion a couple of years, but uh, I gave it up because it is such a hassle to have to, you know, uh, a lot that of particular... A a lot of work. Yeah over with so quick but it's well worth it and that saturday of the uh, parade you've got to go downtown get fitted for your costume and go through all that kind of stuff but uh, maybe next year i'll get into the spirit again and ride again maybe you can ride with araby we'd love to have you all right that sounds good because <laughs> people in chalmette are so nice and friendly they were everybody was just so nice they even forgave me for my joke a couple of weeks ago oh, when, I, when i said uh, what do you call a pretty girl in chalmette uh-huh a visitor Thank you. <laughs> I'm not from Chalmette. I'm from way down St. Bernard Parish, down in St. Bernard Village. It's All right. I think uh, people in Chalmette are some of the friendliest and nicest people in this in this whole area. They were. Everybody just got along so well in here. It's such a great town, and it was just a beautiful day, and it's just the best morning I have ever witnessed, and I've lived here all my life in this area. I'm originally from New Orleans. Okay. Fast morning brought, not only because I was clean, but because the weather and the clouds and everything was just so fantastic. All over New Orleans and Jefferson, all over. Everybody it was. Perfect all right. day. 
Okay, thank you for calling the morning show. Yes, keep playing those oldies. All righty. Bye-bye. Got a couple of good ones coming up for you right after 8 o'clock. 7.48, The Oaks. I heard it better from him.